I'm not going to take this disrespect from you again. Do you hear me? Really? Really? What are you going to do, huh? So what I'm going to do? Oh, what are you, you going to do? Yes! Want to know what No, Nancy, this has gotten out of hand. Am I not talking to somebody? Why are you shouting this morning? What's your problem? Are you insane? You're sitting here watching TV by 7.15 a.m. in the morning without making breakfast for me. So? Are you a child? No, I'm asking you, are you a child? If you know what is good for you, you go in there and make your breakfast yourself. No, try it. If you accidentally try it, one of us will die here today. And I don't care who. For? I'm looking for my friend Kemi. My auntie stay here. Your auntie? Your auntie Kemi? No. Then, please, can you let me know where Kemi is? That's the previous tenant I met a few times. Why not call her for? I don't have a contact. But do you have a contact? No. What about your auntie? My auntie went to the market. Thank you.
Nancy, when will the food be ready? I'm very hungry. I have told you severally. If you're hungry, you cook food for yourself. Why do I have to do that when you're already cooking? And who told you I'm cooking for you? So who are you cooking for? This is my business. I'm cooking for people that don't cook for themselves. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let me see if I understand what you're saying. Mm. You won't cook for me, your husband. The man who married you. But you'll cook for other people. Exactly. I don't get to eat your food. No one else will. Idiot.
Oh, really? What? Yeah, I, I love it. Hey. Hoi. What are you doing here? I was invited for a catering business. Shim, how are you? I'm doing good as you can see, and um, what can I do for you? Shim, I really need to see you. Um, um, babe, we're running late, so can we go now? Okay, um, my bad. Sorry, I need to run out of here. Shim, please! I know you're angry with me, but this is important! Listen, I have to go right now, okay? Sure. I can't do this. Go. Shim! Oh, she? oh, she's she's nobody, okay? Nothing to worry about. Are you sure? Very sure, baby. Never change. <laughs> no. um, I think we choke on this. Oh, you not gonna choke. Or... I saw Nancy yesterday. Nancy? Yeah. Where? Uh, we bumped into each other at an hotel. A hotel? No, she said she came for the catering service or something, so. Oh, okay. Um, Rotimi, is everything okay? What is it? I mean, what do you mean by that? She seems sad when I saw her. If my wife is sad, I would know about that. But trust me, she wasn't looking herself. I mean, the Nancy I used to know. My wife is fine. But well, thanks for asking. You're welcome. Sure, you can eat this? Sure. I think so. Sorry. Spicy? Not good. Tastes good in my mouth, though. Everything tastes good in your mouth.
Yes, keep rolling that stuff. Come on, let's go. Chest. I'm a little foul. Really? Mm. Excuse me. Excuse me. <sighs> oh, nice. My brother just called me out of the He's coming back to my junior family. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. At least you're going to have a family member around. Ah, uh, yes. You know, that house has been abandoned ever since my mom moved abroad. Yes. Yeah. He's going to be there. That's because you refuse to stay there. No. That's because I wanted to start on my own, okay? Okay. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh, I think um, it's high time we get back to get back to the gym. Excuse me. Go back to the gym? Okay, okay. No problem. Let's go. Two minutes. Okay. Okay, right now I think it's least time, so just come over, come over. Okay, alright. You come in. I'm coming. Hey, come <laughs> oh, come on, bro. This is new. I mean, I thought you were never going to get rid of your tundra. <laughs> uh, I never got rid of it. All these at home. I to, you know, go solo on these when I want to. Really? <laughs> of course, man. <laughs> it never changed. <laughs> but trust me, man, it's so good to finally have you back home, I baby brother. I swear, bro, it's really, really good to see you. <laughs> Look at you. Hold on, what, as in, what did you tell Momsi? How did Momsi feel when you were Oh, my there? days. <clears throat> okay, Chief, what started off with how bad it is, how very wrong it is for me to come back home. And I just okay. came back to suffer. <laughs> and then after that, I just zoned out, so I'm not sure exactly what she said. <laughs> bad guy. Look at you, man. I know. You're finally back here. I'm back, and it's so good to be back home. Oh, God. Tell me, how's the house, by the way, the family house? I'm still very okay. Uh, like I told you, the house out there, you know, comes to clean for me, goes there every week to keep mm. it cleaned up, yeah. So, I mean, you're gonna like it when you get there. Okay, if you say so. Guys, it's always me, it's always me. So, my man. Man. Wow. Now, if they had told me that you finally gonna make it back to this country, it gets to a point in your life where you realize that nowhere, no place can be like home. So you just want to come back home and see what you can get moving, you know. Is that coming from you? Yeah. Is that really I'm, coming from you? I don't mean you? to be a philosopher right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm just stating the fact. It's true, you know. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Yeah. So it's good to be back. Yeah. Are you see the changes going on all the country? Yeah, I'm saying. I mean, he's looking like he's like the governor's in better. Girlfriend. Hey, I said good friend. Although I've been trying to date her, but she's been toning me down. What? Why? He why? <laughs> Don't worry, brother. Today is all about you. So, welcome back to Nigeria. Thank you, beautiful. 
Okay, I made a little something for lunch. Why not freshen up and come back? Come on, you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Listen, I'm very optimistic and not hard cooking. Nevertheless, you shouldn't have. <laughs> Why don't you wait and taste some food? She loves cooking. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so freshen up and let's get to this. Okay, then, we'll join you at the dining now. <clears throat> Yeah, bro. Guru. Come on. <laughs> Don't worry, I got your guru fixed up and uh, I'm so good to have you back home, bro. Hey, Shane, what's up? Well, it's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday morning. And as an unemployed individual, I'm trying to go help Kemi get some things from the store. Nah, it's not like that. Kem is down with typhoid, so I'm trying to help her out. Shane, what do you want? Excuse me, what? What did you, what did you say? Shane, do I look like a house help or a private chef to you? Okay, fine. I'm going to prepare something that would last him for a week, but at least that would be enough for him to get a house help for himself. Huh? <laughs> See, beggar with choice. He does not like eating overnight food, and he's picky with his food. Hunger will kill your brother there. Shenwu. Help me out by getting me a job. That's all I want. Bye bye. Hey. Mm. It's already smelling so nice. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. No. I should be the one thanking you. I know this must have been an inconvenience to you. It's okay. Your brother asked me to help out. Well, still, I appreciate this. Thank you, but if you don't mind, please. I'd love for you to get out. I always get uneasy when people are here with me. Okay, my bad. <laughs> I'll leave you to it then. Oh, yeah. Nancy. I would really appreciate it if you could stay after dinner. If you're trying to ask me to make dinner for you, the answer is yes, I'm making both dinner and lunch already. Well, thank you very much, but what I'm trying to say is that I'd love it if you stay after dinner. Sure, I could stay. Sure? Yeah. Okay. Don't struck me to get. <laughs> <laughs> just, 
You should enjoy yourself to the fullest tonight because I'm not cooking again. What? Yeah. Oh, why? Because I mean, it's been three weeks already and you haven't gotten any help. I'm, I'm tired. Um, all right. Your mind, you know. Please. I'm not angry. I'm okay. Okay, if you say so. So how is the job going to go? It's not going well at all. At all. Like 80% of the job vacancies are pyramid scheme. Wow. Ah. That's really crazy. I have no idea. Like the little money I have, I transport myself to that place and then still I find rubbish. I'm so sorry you have to go through that. But I thought Simon was helping you get a job. She was trying, but it's obvious that there's no opening for me. Don't worry, get a job soon, okay? <laughs> get a job soon, don't worry. Give me a minute, please. Mm. Hello? Hello, sweetheart. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? Okay, but not great. Do you take bribes? Well... Depends on what you want me to do for you. Please, don't get upset. But can you come to the house and make food for me? What? Wait, 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 wait to me. I don't, I thought you sorted this out. I know. But please, just come over. I promise I'll make it up to you. No, you have to tell me. But how have you been surviving? My dear, you don't want to know. Just tell me. I've been eating bread and cereals for four days straight. Please, I beg you, just come over for the sake of my intestines. Okay, fine. I'll see you soon. So you just um, send me your account details so I can make a transfer, okay? Thank you so much, darling. Do you be with who, son? Hmm. Same brother. Same brother. Yeah, he wants me to cook for him. What's up? Yeah, cook for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Nothing. Cook for him, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cook for him. What's in this one's head? Nothing now. Why is your conscience breaking? Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry for keeping you away tonight. I had to make a call. It's okay. I mean, I'm bad news now. Our working is done. No, not yet. Not by my. mile. <laughs> I mean, what else is there to do? I've cooked and you've eaten. I know. But that is not the only reason I asked you to come over. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Please sit. Well, I wanted to tell you something. And besides, I haven't given you your gift yet. I didn't come because you said you wanted to give me something. I knew. But nevertheless, I have gotten your gift already. You just give me a minute, okay? okay. I'll be back. Fine.
Here's your gift. Oh, jeez. What's me? We shouldn't have done this. I know, but I wanted to. Open it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Wow. This is so beautiful. There's something in there. Too. Wow. What's me? This is so beautiful. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. But it's not half as beautiful as you are. <laughs> <laughs> and the truth is, I do have a confession. What is it? I have an ulterior motive. But first, I need to know something. Do you have feelings for my brother? Shew is just my friend. I mean, a very close friend at that, but we're just close friends. Is that all? Yeah. I mean, I admire and respect him a lot, but mm -mm. we're just friends. And there is no one else, correct? No, I'm not. Good. I wanted to be sure before I do this. We should we should slow down. Yeah. Okay. I'm taking you tomorrow night on a date. And I want you coming in this dress. Wow. I'd love to. But um, I think I need to tell Shim about this first. I mean, I don't mean to get you angry, but I think it's the right thing to do. I thought you said that you guys are just friends. Yeah, still, but I need to talk to him about it. Fine. Talk to him then. Okay. Thank you. This is nice. <laughs> Hey, don't I get a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. You're here. Yeah. I guess, um, as you can see from his muscles and physique, that Rotary really loves to walk out a lot. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> um, you both seem awfully close. You bet. <laughs> so, do you have an answer for me now? What answer is? It's nothing important. Well, I asked her out on a date with me. Oh, really? She didn't tell you? No. She didn't. I've been meaning to, but I haven't had enough time around that. Um, oh, come on, I, I wish you both good luck. Thanks, bro. I plan on giving her the ride of her life. <laughs> oh, I need to hit the gym. <laughs> okay, man. Right. So how are you? How's your day been? Fine. Mm -hmm. 
It's really good to see you here. Same here. Looking all <laughs> juicy with your workout attire. <laughs> so why don't you start out with a treadmill? Okay. I could give you some tips you would like. Come on, come on. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, you just stand here. Aha. Stand. There you go. We can go in together. Just go. Okay, let, let, let me go with you. Just go, go, go. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we're running together right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I've been calling you, so I thought to come check up on you. You didn't have to. I'm fine. Are you mad at me? Why would I be? I have a feeling that you're not happy because your brother asked me out. Nancy, I do not want to talk about this, okay? You're an adult. Do whatever you want. Shame. You know how much you mean to me. You know what you've done for me. So there's no way I would ever hurt you. Never. So what would you call choosing my younger brother over me? That's not what happened. Nancy. I've asked you out four times. Four good times and you told me no. Rosalie just asked you out once and immediately you said yes to him. I didn't plan for any of this to happen. Seriously? I don't get you. I don't. I've been with you for two years, two good years, asking you out. You told me you were ready to date or go into any relationship. Just look at you. Rotten me just asked you out. So suddenly you said yes to him. Shame, I didn't plan for any of this to happen. I did not. Okay, you tell me. What is it that Rotten me had that I do not have? Because if it's money, we both know that I have that money. So what is it? Shame, stop. Stop! I'm not going to compare you to your brother. I need to get back to work. And what's that supposed to mean? I need a quiet environment to work. So are you asking me to leave your office? Nancy, we might need to talk this some other time. Maybe.
You look breathtaking. Thank you. And you look amazing yourself. Oh, please, forget about me. You know, I've always loved the color red. It's my favorite. But on you, it looks enticing and very sensual. Hmm. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> and thank you for the dress. This is beautiful. You're welcome. Have you spoken to your brother about me? What has my brother got to do with us? He's my friend. I don't want to hurt his feelings. And you care because? Because I mean, I'm, your brother isn't happy that we're getting close. Look, you don't have feelings on my brother, do you? No, I don't. You love me, correct? I have feelings for you. And that's all that matters. She's... Enough! Leave my brother alone! Amen. Let's enjoy our time together. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma. Welcome. Good evening. Oh, would you care for anything, please? Can we see your menu first? All right, sir. That's no problem. What would you like to drink by way? Red wine. And you, sir? I'll do white. All right, sir. I'll be right back. Please, you have to stop ignoring me. Do you know how much you matter to me? Shim, please. I swear I never meant to fall in love with your brother. You're in love with him? Yes. I think I am. Great! Just please! Shim, please! Please! Please what? Please understand! Understand what? I've been with you two years! For two years now and I get nothing! You just met my brother a few months ago. And you love for him. I didn't plan to do that. I mean, I love him. I'm sorry. Just understand. Please. Shimu, Shimu, please. Come on. Shimu, come on. Who are you? Any closer. 
she might end up pregnant. <laughs> oh, now, come on. Show, sure. promise me you're staying for dinner. I'm not sure I can. Oh, come on. I'll make your favorite, I promise. Yeah, stay. My wife will make you your favorite food. Okay. Fine. All right. If you guys need me, I'll be in the kitchen. All right? Okay, fine. What you did this night. What do you mean? Were you trying to humiliate me in front of my brother? I don't understand. What, do you, what are you talking about, Rosie? If you ever throw yourself at my brother like that again, I promise you, you would hate yourself. When, when did you prepare, <clears throat> when did you prepare this food? I made it today. I don't want to repeat myself. When exactly did you make this food? I made it this evening. Let me get what you're saying. You're, you're telling me that you went to the market and then you prepared this food today. Well, I wasn't feeling strong, so I couldn't go to the market. So what did you use in preparing this food? The vegetable from yesterday. Nancy, are you mad? Nancy, are you mad? You prepared vegetable soup for me with stale leaf. But if it's Shenwu, you would happily prepare his food, his favorite food, freshly made. Listen, Nancy. I give you one hour to make my food. Your time starts now. Thank you, dear. Yeah, that reminds me. I invited the gang over for dinner tonight. I don't think I can cope up with that. Meaning what? What do you mean? I'm feeling really bad. I don't feel too good. Huh. What is wrong with you? I don't feel good. Well, if you don't feel too good, you need to take drugs then. I will, but... At least they could host us. You've never been to their houses ever since you started working at that company. No. I don't want to go there. I want them to come here. Then I can't feed multiple mouths. I can't. Wait, are you trying to say that I should cancel when I have given them my word already? Okay, fine. We could eat outside. Eat outside? Yeah. Do you know what's wrong with your suggestion? Do you? Yeah. So tell me, what is it? Because you only eat my food. Good. Now I'm going downstairs to have breakfast. 
and then I'm off to work. But I'll be back in time for dinner. Who's going to make my beverage? Hello? Call me. Why are you not dressed? Everyone is waiting downstairs already. I'm dressed. Dressed for what? To work as a mechanic? What are you talking about? Nancy, if you know what is good for you, do not provoke me. I give you 20 minutes to get yourself into something presentable. Is this what you're wearing for dinner? Yeah, this looks nice. What the hell is wrong with you today? Nothing. I don't want you to look nice. I want you to look breathtaking. You hear it? Beautiful. Exactly what I wanted to say. Oh. You're beautiful. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Come on, turn around. Come on. What are you seeing, guys? She's a queen. Come on, <laughs> you look so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> My darling, come here. Whoa. You're done. You're you so look so beautiful. <laughs> look at you. Thank you. You! Nancy, uh, you need to tell me how you always look this good. God, you are beautiful. I need this cigar. <laughs> I need your stop the whole house. I need it. Oh my god, you look so pretty. <laughs> my darling. Oh, so um, do we still need more drinks? No, no, no. Straight to the food. So that's why I came here. Alright, so let's <laughs> yeah. head straight to the dining room. Ready? Let's go, guys. Okay. Let's go. Why did you allow Tolani to touch you like that? What do you mean by that? You heard me. I don't know what you're talking about. Are you trying to say that you didn't notice that he was almost grabbing your ass? 
I was never close to Ptolemy. He never, he never did that. When he hugged you, he almost squeezed your ass. Come here. They all look at you and crave for you. You know that, right? They want to touch you. They wish they could have you. But you're all mine. And mine alone. Don't you ever let any man touch you like that again. Do I make myself clear? Do I? Good. Good girl. Now kiss me. Kiss me. Huh? Kiss me like you want me so bad. to feel you beside me. Now, what do you want to talk about? Ms. I don't want to get mad at what I have to say. Okay. Talk to me. Do you know I love you? I mean, that has not changed. And I believe you love me too. But, Ms. you don't trust me. Really? Now, what gives you that impression? I mean, look at me. Every single time a man looks at me without me even noticing you, you get jealous and hurt me. But you mean, you've been hitting me. Now, why do you want to ruin my mood with this? We need to talk about it. Do you see this conversation ending in your favor? To me, please. Nancy, please. I need you to drop this topic now. Okay, fine. If you can't trust me, then stop letting your friends come over for dinner. Why would I do that? They love eating your food. Why should I deprive them of that? Then why do you have to get angry when they talk beautiful things about me and then come on? Well, I love the way they compliment you. The way they compliment your food. Your body, stop your beauty. Please stop. Please stop. You love hearing these things, but they make you get so mad at me. And then you turn around to hit me. Then you should stop getting me angry. Okay, fine. I mean, if you can't stop hitting me like this, I have to leave. Come here. No such thing! You hear me? You're mine! And mine alone! Get out of here before you provoke me any further. Yeah, I beg. I don't tire. I'm tired. 
tired. So you mean all this why she couldn't get you a job? Can we please forget about Shemu? I'm fed up with his attitude. So I saw this AD of a guy looking for a job for a very long time, but he was getting rejected. So the guy decided to start up a food business in his kitchen, from his kitchen. And I thought to myself, Nancy, you can cook. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Yeah. You know, I think that's a really great idea. Your food is actually the best. <laughs> I think you're going to do well at that. I know. But I'll be the first to test your food. <laughs> then that's a deal. Uh huh. But I need to ask you to make your money first. Hey, baby, what's up? Where the hell are you? I'm out. Something wrong? I got to the house and I did not see you. Where are you? I'm not too far away from the house. I'm out with Kemi. You're hanging out with Kemi? Where? At Jackson Bar restaurant. Doing what? Nothing really. We're just drinking. Just you and Kemi? Yes, just two of us. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. My husband is looking for me. I'm trying to call him back. Okay. <sighs> ah, I guess he's driving. Oh. So, I want to talk to you to me about it, but first, got an idea. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What is it about? Good day. Good day. Um, um, the gentleman over there said I should give you guys this. Oh, that's a sweet of him, but tell him thank you, we're not interested. Yeah, please tell him thank you, but no thank you. Okay, ma. Alright. I need your help. Mm-hmm. What do you need me to do for you? Market analysis and business plan, please. <laughs> Sure, I'll get that done for you. Yeah, cheers to that. Cheers to that thing. <laughs> mm. Hi, beautiful ladies. Oh, hi. How may we help you? I am Yinka by name. I saw when two of you walked in, I was thinking to come over, but it's fine. Can I sit down? Yeah, well, you can sit, but that's only because you're cute. Wow. Ugh. Thank you so much for saying that. But once again, two of you look so beautiful. Um, please, can I talk to your friend briefly? It's okay. It's fine. Oh, beautiful soul. Beautiful girl. Thank you. What is going on here? Baby, what are you doing here? I came to pick you up. Oh, hi, Rotimi. What's up? Hi, Kemi. I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Hello. Hi. Mr. Handsome Gentleman, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, what's your name? Yinka. Yinka. Yeah. Ah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Same. We're leaving. OK, I'll call you. Mind your heart, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're leaving.
asked you who you were with. And you had the audacity to lie to me. I saw it was with Kemi. And you saw it, I was with Kemi. Oh, so the Yinka boy is a spirit, right? He just came to my table because he liked Kemi and... Lie to me again! Try it! So he mistook your hands for Kemi's hands. That's why he was romancing and kissing you in public, right? Give me your phone. Give me your phone! This be the last time that I hear you talk about or try to see Kemi again. You hear me? I don't know why you keep doing this. You do things intentionally to annoy me. You provoke me to hit you. And then I'm the bad guy. Come here. Nancy. Come here. Nancy. I said, come here. You know I don't like to share you. I don't want anyone else to ever touch you. Because you're mine. And mine alone. Sorry for imposing on you. You are not imposing on me. I can't believe you've been going through all this in the hands of Rotimi. What is going on with Rotimi? I don't know. I don't really know. Do you know he actually deleted your contact from my phone? Whoa, he did that. Does she all know about this? No, I didn't tell him. You should have. 
I'm sure Shen wouldn't have taken this from Rotomi, knowing that he's treating you bad. I really don't want Shen to know about this. Trust me. I just want to be here and know my next step. Nancy, you are my good friend. And you can stay here for as long as you want. Okay? I mean... Come on. Thank you. I appreciate this. Big time. Okay. Nancy! 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 Trying me, I swear. Are you not going to pick that? <laughs> Rotimi is not ready to talk. How do you know? I know him. Right now, he's just going to shout. I'm not going to hear anything I have to say. What time did my wife leave this house? This morning, sir. Not long after you left. So why is she not back? Sir, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure she's coming back today, sir. What? Why would you say you're not sure she's coming back today? When she, she was going, she left with the traveling bag, sir. Come, come. <laughs> Wait, my wife left this house with a traveling bag. And your common sense did not tell you that you would call me. Oh, Get out of here, <laughs> idiot! It's Rotimi. to me. Should I pick? Kevin, please don't pick. If you pick that call, Rotimi to me will shout out to you. Let him shout. Let him shout at me. I will shout back at him. That will provoke him further. He should be provoked. What's my business? Who cares? You should be provoked. See, you should not even try that thing with me. You should not even come close to me with that silly attitude. Please, you should just keep his madness that way. <laughs> What's that? Okay. Provoked. <laughs> provoked. <laughs> 
破。Nasi, I have to take this. Kemi, please. I don't want Rotimi to direct his anger to you. I beg you. Don't take it. Shion, what's up? Is my wife there with you? When last did you see her? Nothing. I just thought she came over. I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. She's not here. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine, Mara. Just that she's been talking about coming to see you. Okay, she's not here. All right, Mara. I'll call you later. Okay, thank you. guy comes, tell him to call me. And please don't open the gate for anybody. Alright? Yeah, open the gate for me. <sighs> no! Jesus! Where is my wife? Tell me what are you doing Where's here? My wife? Your wife is not here! Leave 
the house. You heard me asking of you, but you left me outside, right? I give you five minutes to go inside, pack your things, and come out here. Do you want me to come and move you? your neck until I feel the life ooze out of your body. Stay away from her! If you need the help, you should ask your husband. You're married, right? Sure, sure. The help I need is about what's in me. Please, I don't want to know what is going on between you both, okay? Now, stop calling me. Sure, please, you don't understand. Nancy, please, I need you to stop calling me. Good night. You called my brother. Why? I just wanted to check up on him. Just wanted to check up on him. <laughs> How many times have I told you that you lied to me? <laughs> How many times have I warned you about lying? <laughs>
mocking me. Why couldn't you drive me crazy? <laughs> work today? My dear, it was tiring. And you, how are you? I'm good. Food is ready. Do you want to eat now? Oh, no, no, no. No. <clears throat> I just want to stay here and hold my wife. I missed you all day. Did you miss me? Yes. Do you know, I miss this side of you so much. Well, I'm here now. Thank you so much, babe. This was an amazing meal. Oh, you're welcome. So, babe, um, I want to talk to you about something important. Okay. What is it? Hey. Um, I want to start my own business instead of looking for a job. I mean, that would help me set some time to not let my job interfere with taking care of you. Hmm. What business are you interested in? My food and catering services. Huh. Look, I don't know how I feel about you cooking for other people. I prefer you cooking for just me. I understand. But I cook for your friends when they come over. That's because they are people that I know. And you cook for them with my permission. And that's why I'm asking for your permission for this. Please. Please, baby. Fine. On one condition that this business of yours does not take you away from me. I promise not. It will never take me away from me, I promise. Not. Okay. Fine then. You can start a business. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy. All right. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nancy, where are you? So you had the audacity to leave me without food? No, I, I need your food already. It's in a Tupperware in the kitchen. Are you mad? So I'm supposed to serve myself while you're out there serving other people? Are you normal? Don't, you be back don't worry. Once you are done servicing your executive boyfriends, you come and meet me in this house. to me. I'm sorry. Please, don't be angry. Please. What was my one condition? It's me, I'm begging you. I'm sorry. What was my one condition? That my job should not affect me taking care of you. You see this business of yours? It just closed down. Please, I beg you. It wasn't intentional, I swear. Are you insane? Please. What sort of excuse is that? You've been doing this business for only two weeks. In fact, it is less than two weeks. And you're already neglecting me. It won't happen again, I promise. Oh, yes, I am sure it won't happen again. Because henceforth, your focus would be on me and me alone.
go too far. Please, we have to go back to your husband. I can't go back to what's me. What me beats me. No, you have to. You can't stay here. Mommy, please. If I go to what's me, what's me beats me like a dog. Beats you? Then do to him what I do to your father. Avoid the thing that makes him upset. Everything makes what me upset. When his friends come over to the house, they compliment how beautiful I look, how sexy I look, how well I cook. The same compliment if you read to him. Do you know what Rotimi does to me? Rotimi beats me. Rotimi beats me. I can't go back. Please. My child, you can't stay here. Please, you have to go back. Mm -hmm. eh? You know your father. If your father meets you here, I will be the one to suffer it. And... I, I am too old for that, my child, please. Mommy, please. Eh? Mommy, please, I cannot go back. I came here with the last money in my hand. I can't go back. I can't go back. I'm begging you. He, he will not beat you. Hmm? <laughs> I called him this morning and I told him that he would want to come and see me because I'm sick. Just go back. Don't be afraid. He will not beat you. Hmm? Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, that should be him. Mommy, please. <laughs> Mommy, please. Please don't let me come coming inside. Mommy, I cannot go back to your TV. Mommy, I cannot go back to your TV. Clean your eyes, eh? I know you are a strong woman. Eh? You'll be fine, okay? Please. <laughs> Come here. Why did you leave this house? My mom asked me to come. I'm going to ask one last time. Why did you leave this house? Because my mom said I should. Ah! Ah! I'll give you the audacity to leave my house for anything! Nancy! Nancy! 
Would you hurry up with my tablet? Nancy! I'm sorry. Could you give me a moment, please? Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm okay. When am I being discharged, please? Relax. I'd like to ask you a question, if you don't mind. How did this happen? Like my husband said, I fell down the stairs. Okay. That might explain the bleeding, but not the bruises on your abdomen and your face. Doctor, I fell down with two suitcases in my hands. Seriously? Yes. I had no idea I was pregnant. I guess I should have been more careful. I'm sorry. But I am having a hard time believing that you fell down the stairs. Doctor, my wife just told you that she fell. Now, if you're done with your job of examining her, would you discharge her so we can leave? Sure. Uh, I'll go check with the nurse. to go through. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. No, 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 no. I can allow you to carry heavy things like this. I mean, man, okay? Thank come on. you. Come on. Thank come on. you. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh. You see husband of mine? Have you seen him? Mm. Only helping people's wives. He will never help me. Calm he doesn't down. assist. Calm down, calm down. I can't see. Calm down. Hmm. Calm down. Okay, guys. Um, let's do justice to this. You understand? Let's do justice I'm not to part this, of huh? This. Okay. I'm not obviously not part of this. Of course. Hard to go through. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. No, 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 no. I can allow you to carry. Heavy things like this. I mean, man. Okay? Thank come on. you. Come on. Thank come on. you. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> you see husband of mine? Have you seen him? Mm. Only helping people's wives. He will never help me. Calm he down. doesn't assist. Calm down. Calm down. I can't see. Calm down. Mm. Calm down. Okay, guys. Um... Let's do justice to this. You understand? Let's do justice to this, huh? This. Okay. Na 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 So you can handle this, but you cannot handle a couple of drinks, right? I'm asking you, you cannot handle a couple of drinks by yourself. Can you handle a couple of drinks, yes or no? Oh, 
Now you just like embarrassing me, making me look like an uncaring man. Is that it? Is that what you want? Then it's obvious you like it when men touch you. Is that it? Oh, is. You, oh, are, you like it when they touch your body? Oh. Okay, fine, guess what? I have hands too. Oh, so I can touch you just the way I want. I can touch you. Oh, Come here. You. My baby, <laughs> it's so good to see you. Man, it's been so so long. I mean, I'm happy to see you. Knowing that you're in this town, now nah, I'm happy. Uh, I'm really happy to see you. Thank you. What did I do? How am I meant to invite a ghost? Am I not just seeing you? If I was seeing you before, now wouldn't I have, I have invited you to my so wedding? I'm not a ghost now. <laughs> Please let me go to my husband, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, that. <laughs> oh my god. Let me hold it, baby. Let me hold it, okay. baby. Mm. Thank you. Oh. Always looking nice. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. It's your husband. Thank mm. you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bobo. Bobo. Yeah, follow me. Oh, Bobo. Bobo is even smiling. I'm even smiling. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Take All care. right, take care. Bye. Touches you, but me. How many times do I have to tell you that? How many times? You went out to spend time with another man and left me in this house, right? He was just my friend. Oh. He was just my friend from school. Just your friend from school. Now let this be the last time that you enter a ride from another man. You hear me? Have I made myself clear? Yeah.
Come up here now. Brittany was just the wing. I said come up here now. Come here. Stand here. Stand here. Where are you coming from? I'm just going back from the market. By this time? I mean, I would have been back earlier, but it's been raining. Hmm. Nancy, if you know what is good for you, you would not lie to me. What do you mean, I swear? I'm not lying to you. I'm just coming back from the market. Same way you went to the market. And then you ended up in a man's car, right? I didn't even receive any news from anybody today. Oh, shut up! Keep quiet! You left this house by 1 p.m. Do you know what the time is now? Huh? I don't know. What is it by my time? Check it. Hmm? 5.37 5.37 p.m. For the last time, and you better choose your words carefully. Where are you coming from? Mr. and Mrs. Olushola. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Olushola. Your son was severely injured from the fall. And being as he was just seven months old. Did you, did, you, did, you, did you just say that my son was just seven months old? Yes. There's no easy way to say this. Your son had severe swelling and bleeding in his brain. We did all we could to help, but we lost him. <laughs> Doctor, in this world, the only good thing that has ever happened to me is that baby boy. The only comfort I have is that child. So please, I beg you, doctor, please go back in there and try again. Please, doctor, please. Doctor, please. I'm sorry. We did our best, but we lost him. That boy means the world to me. So please, go back in there and get me my son. Please, doctor, I'm begging you. Madam, madam, I, I understand. We did all we could, but we lost him.
really need to stop with this crying. There's no need for it. And it's beginning to annoy me. Come here. Where are you going to? I'm going into the room. To do what? What is happening in the room? Nothing. I just want to go into the room. You obviously won't stand there and respond to me. I come and sit here. No, I won't. I don't think this is the right time to reject my request. Nancy, come and sit here. Do you want me to give you something to cry about? driving me crazy. Why? And you know how much I love you? Because I love you so much. Why do you keep doing this? Why do you keep getting me angry? I love you. God knows I love you. I love you so much. Why do you just stop making me angry? Please. I beg you.
just see. Your food is always nice. Yeah. yeah. Tuna was about saying that. <laughs> if only you decide to take cooking lessons from her. My mother was not praying all those prayers she's praying to God to preserve my life. Okay. What? Is your baby having you like that? I did tell you. Come on, then. Look to me. Let's swap. Let me marry Nancy. Hmm. I mean, I'll be a good father to ah. you. Mm. Nancy, see, don't mind him. Eh? If you must marry anyone here, marry me. You know I'm you know I'm bust up. Yeah? I have money. I'll don't that fire that your mouth. Calm down. Are you okay? No, I got you. Nancy, are you okay? This one you're not eating your food. I'm fine. She's fine. Okay. I will break your head. No, I'm just What kidding. is it now? Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Nancy, what about your son? How is that little man doing? He's fine. We decided that he should go stay with his grandmother. Oh, oh that's okay. nice. That's cool. Yeah. Cool. So you don't want to end this honeymoon anytime soon? I don't know. Just love, love, love. This food is nice. Excuse me. You need to get wine. <laughs> Anymore. I am done! If you want to kill me, kill me if you want to! But I can't live with you anymore! So you want to go? Fine, leave. But one thing you should know before you leave. If you walk out of this house, I would find you. And I will hurt anyone that as much as blinks at you smiles at you, walks close to you, harbors you, or even breathe the air that you breathe. And I'll keep hurting every single person that you care about until you come back to this house. So fine. Leave. The gate is open. I invited the gang over to have dinner with us tonight. Okay. Good luck. What do you mean? I mean, good luck. Look, Nancy, I don't have time for this. I have to rush up to pick up a parcel. But I'll be back in time for dinner. Yeah, before I forget. Mix swallow instead. I'm getting tired of rice. I'm not feeding you. Neither am I feeding your friends. You invite them, you cook for them. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? What do you mean you invite your friends? 
You cook for your friends. You listen up, woman. I'm fed up with your arrogance. And I'll not tolerate you making a fool out of me in front of my friends. Do you understand? Sorry to me, I don't have to make a fool out of you. You do it so easily. in our life together and as badly as you want out of it you're going nowhere do you hear me nowhere <laughs> how dare you <laughs> have you lost your mind huh? India where do you think I'm going to come back here come back <laughs> Okay, you are very welcome to my lovely abode. <laughs> you can call this place my sweet, sweet cuisine, okay? Such a nice place. <laughs> yes, I know. Oh, yeah, that's the kitchen. Come here. This is where all the delicious meals are made. And where I'm sure you're going to do some good stuff for me. <laughs> yeah, sweetie. So I want you to know that this house is your house. Thank you. Mi casa es su casa, okay? What's mine is yours. Oh my. Enjoy yourself. Whatever it is that you want, just take it! Don't ask for permission, okay? Okay. <laughs> now lastly, I should take you to the bedroom where the true magic happens. Because okay? <laughs> I think, so I think we're about to create some magic right now. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. Good baby. So I didn't catch your name earlier. Well, that's because I didn't throw it. You don't have to be nasty. My name is Nancy. What's your name? The name is Blessing. That's a beautiful name. Blessing, tell me, have you made food for to me before? But there is always a first time to everything. Mm. Do not take offense when Rotimi rejects your food. It's not because you're a bad cook. It's because this addictive son of a bitch only eats my food. Have you slept with him yet? Excuse you? I don't see how that is any of your business. I'll take that as a no. And he hasn't slept with you not because you're unattractive. Because it only gets done done by pain. By my pain. He only gets aroused because he likes preying on his partner. Enough. I know what you're trying to do. You're only trying to create a wedge between Rotini and I, right? Listen, do you know why you're in this house? I'm in this house. Because Rotimi loves me. <laughs> You're wrong. Rotimi is a demented lunatic, but trust me, I'm the only woman Rotimi loves. And unfortunately, that is my curse. You are here because he has no other way to hurt me. And now he's just grasping at straws. You lie. You lie. Rotimi loves me and you're jealous. 
That's it. Okay. Fine. We'll see. Get it wrong with tea and bread. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to fix you something else. It's cold. Goodness. That's so nice. You are definitely a blessing to me. Oh, baby. Mm. <laughs> oh, well. You have something to do to my body, right? Mm-hmm. 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 Baby. My baby. That's what mm. you want to take to me. Oh, yeah. I'm taking it slow, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Eat me out. Oh, yeah. Spread it open. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, you really know how to turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> You think you've won, right? What part of this is winning to you? What part of being with to me is winning to you? You don't know how lucky you are. 
You don't know how badly I wish I could trade places with you right now. You don't know how I wish I was born walking out of these gates with my bag in my hands. You don't know what God has done for you. Well, I hope you both are happy because you clearly deserve each other. Trust me. No woman in this world deserves what me. No one. herself. She told us she killed him by repeatedly hitting him with the tank lid of the WC. Although she didn't tell us why she did that. Do you have any idea what might have happened? No. I, I mean, I, I suspect that they were having issues. I don't know what would have led to her killing my brother. I mean, my only brother. I'm sorry for your loss. Can, can I see my brother? Sure, but that will be later in the day. Okay, but can I see her? Yes, you can. I'll ask them to bring her in. <clears throat> bring Nancy in. Thank you. How could you? How could you do this to me? To my brother, the father of your only child. Nancy, please tell us what happened. She's not even saying anything. Go back to my cell. Last you did this to me. May I please go back to my cell? Take her away. Oh. Did, did you see? She never remembers 
Sinaloa will she be? Not as far as we can tell. Anyway, I'll have an officer take you to your brother. Okay? I'll keep you updated. As we'll learn more. Please take it easy, okay? You may leave. I'll send for you when I'm done. Okay. Please sit down. I spent half of today on your case. I don't get it. You reported your case? Confess to killing your husband. You willingly allowed us to arrest you. But nothing about you suggests a violent nature. You don't look it. Looks can be very deceiving. Trust me. I learned that the hard way. Nancy. Tell me what happened.
I'm sorry you went through all that. After a while, I didn't care about the abuse anymore. But do you know how it feels to watch your son fall? your pain. Have you ever been abused? No. I've never been. So don't get this the wrong way. I do not pray for you to be abused. I do not pray for you to be in my shoes. Never. Why didn't you leave him after that? But Rotimi would never let me go. Never. We could have run away when he was at work. You see my husband? My husband has never lied to me before. We were married for four years and he never lied to me once. So when he told me that he would find me, and destroy everything until I came back. I knew he meant it. There was nothing I could do. I don't mean to be insensitive. But didn't you see the red flag before marrying him? It was all my fault. You know, sometimes when you love someone, you see the red flags as pink. But you'd have gone to the police or found an organization that helps women in an abusive marriage. Why didn't you do that? I researched. I researched for every possible way out of that marriage. But it ended up with what if. What if what? What if I had reported him and they got him arrested and sentenced? How many years do you think they would have given him for that? Roughly five years. And when he leaves? Probably find you. So, same thing with going to a foundation. I would have reported that he killed my son and he would have fallen under involuntary manslaughter. And how many years do you think they would have given him for that? Not enough years. I tried. I tried of so many ways to escape from that marriage. Police. Foundation. I mean, Foundation helps so many women in abusive marriages, but me? It's a foundation effective to abusive women, but... But not you. They couldn't have helped you with rotimi. for what you did? No, I don't. I do not regret killing my husband. My only regret was that he killed my son before I could kill him. So that is it. 
that was what happened. I thought you should know why she did what she did. How come we, we never knew anything about this? He didn't notice any of this. I just didn't want to interfere in their relationship. I didn't want to know what was going on. But you knew your brother. You might have had a sense of who he was. I, I, I know growing up, Rosemary was jealous and over possessive. You know, so we knew that in our family. Would, you know, give him a toy, he would prefer to destroy it than have it shared with somebody else. We thought he was going to outgrow it. There are certain things we don't outgrow. There are certain things that goes deeper and rooted with years. Things like uh, abuse? You see, a lot of people roam the streets of Nigeria with psychological problems, like a brother. Well, I minored in psychology at the University of Pennsylvania. And from what I heard from Nancy and you, your brother had a psychological problem. A psychological problem? Paranoid personality disorder coupled with schizophrenia. What does that even mean? Google the symptoms of Paranoid personality disorder. And tell me if that describes a brother. Feelings that they have been lied to, deceived and exploited by other people. May believe that friends, family and romantic partners Untrustworthy and unfaithful. Our post of anger and response to perceived assertion often described as cold, jealous, secretive, and will finally control in relationships and argue to avoid being exploited or manipulated. You stopped? Does that in any way sound like a brother? in a country where everything is attributed to spiritual problems or oh, not in the village mental health in most cases is not considered meanwhile mental health is the major reason for everything Detective handling your issue. And she told me everything. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know about you, son. So, what do you want? What is the reason why you are here? Hmm? Have you come here to see what has become of me? No. See, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I didn't know my brother did all this to you. That was like, I, I'm doing everything. Making every contact to get the best lawyer to get you out of this. I don't want you! I don't need you! 
And even if I'm sentenced to hang, trust me, I don't mind. No, don't. That's, that's a place. I, I didn't know about this. No, you didn't want to know! You didn't want to know! You were my friend! I knew you for two years before I met your brother. She would every time me needed my help, I was always there for you. You were always there for me. I know, I don't forget things. But the only time I needed you so much in this life, you left me out in the fire to burn. You picked the most crucial time to be petty over a stupid grudge. I can't explain to you how I fell in love with your brother. Lord knows I have been trying so hard to explain it to myself. But well, maybe that is my lot. But you, you couldn't get past it, could you? But no, 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 that's it. That's it, please. I've come past it again. It is late! Go late! Get out of here! Get out! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Oh, please, just come down, please! Is, is there anything we can do? Really, there's nothing we can do. You know, considering the evidence in her case and the confession she made to the police, this is the best we could hope for. Can't we fight for our people? <laughs> you need to understand this. See, Nancy confessed killing her husband in cold blood. You see, we, we, we were lucky to have brought the child down from murder to manslaughter. How did we lose? Even when we argued that she did it in self-defense, I thought we had enough to, to help her case. Uh, yes, there was enough. The, the testimony, both of you, and that of the security guard, and the evidence of long, prolonged uh, abuse on Nancy's body, those were the things we were able to use to convince the judge to bring down the sentence to just five years. The truth of the matter, she could even be sentenced to 25 years or even life imprisonment. So we are lucky to have a judge that's sympathetic. We are lucky, we are lucky. So what, what you're saying is that there is nothing else, I mean, nothing we can do. The truth of the matter is that both of you have done enough. You have done enough. All you need to do now is just to wait for the five years. That's all. 